Seven Artisans has sent me this tiny little lens. This is for the Leica M1, so that's what I'm using my Leica Type 240. And uh, as you can see, this is a very fun lens. So I guess we're gonna have some fun today. <music> 28 millimeters is a bit wide, but also pretty cool for street photography. Exactly what we're doing here today. Come, let's go. So this is an f5.6 lens and uh, some people might think that this lens being so small and uh, with such a, a slow uh, aperture the pictures are gonna be garbage but i completely disagree getting those leica colors to pop with actual garbage Come up, Yalian. Come, Yalian. Oh, Chung Wen, one pan pan, one pan pan. You men show where you are. Hanan da. I'm sure some people may fail to see the advantages of this lens. So it's not only small and lightweight, but with an aperture, maximum aperture of f5.6, you probably not need to buy filters. It's already pretty dark. And if you do buy filters, they have a filter thread of 35.5 millimeters. So the filters are gonna be very cheap anyway. The minimal focal distance on this camera is somewhere around like a meter, so I can't really get close to these flowers, and I guess the close-up photography is not gonna be the expertise of this lens. Michael, my cameraman here, is taking a picture of me, and basically I'm standing as, uh, on a place that I have a lot of distance between me and my background, so we're trying to see if we can get some background blur, some bokeh. Uh, there is less and less light available. That's when these little lenses start to suffer. F5.6 is not very bright as you can imagine. And I have my ISO set at 2000 already. So you can see how that could influence the quality of my pictures. So last time we went out shooting and it started raining and it hasn't stopped in two months. Now we are basically getting eaten by mosquitoes. It's a different kind of punishment every time we go take pictures. But um, I decided to switch camera. I got the included Seven Artisans adapter that came with this lens. Actually, it didn't come with this lens. It came in a separate box. And I think it's a different purchase. But yeah, I wanted to see how this camera performs on a modern Canon camera like the Canon EOS R6. Since the Leica ISO performance, it ain't that good. And this is a f5.6. So. Let's keep shooting. Here in Rage Studios, we do have a budget when we do these kind of photo shoots outdoors. But, you know, two months of rain, not good for business. Our budget got cut in half, so we can only afford half a moto. So I don't know if I mentioned before, but this tiny lens has tiny hood. And it's so cute. You put it on and yeah, look at that. I don't know, I find it cute and funny. Ah, 
no pure Singapore. <laughs> it's up on the floor. This is basically the most spoiled street cat. I mean, have his own house. Someone feed them, and many people go on and like play with him. But still, it's, it's a street cat. So I saw that the 5.6 maximum aperture will really bother me. But even so, it does bother me a little. What really bother me is that the minimal focus distance is like about a meter. For a 28 millimeter lens, that's that's a lot of distance basically, and it doesn't allow me to get close enough, which means it's nearly impossible to get out of focus backgrounds, no matter what you do. You probably already seen these pictures as I'm taking them, but I see them later on in the office. Most of the pictures we took on the first day of shooting with the Leica, uh, I already reviewed them and as to be expected, there is a lot of vignetting in here, even so it's just f5.6 and that's, you know, such a small lens, what do you expect? When it comes to sharpness, hey, it's pretty damn good. I wouldn't complain about sharpness, but you know, it's also a f5.6, so yeah. We did a break for a beverage, Coca-Cola with no sugar. We had the local convenience store, just because we got tired of being eaten by mosquitoes, right, Isha? Too many mosquitoes. And you have to get your ice cream, right? Yeah, very important. Bruh. All right, guys, so in conclusion, the 7 Artisans 28 millimeter F5.6 um, for the Lake Amon, this is, I don't know, I don't know who is this lens for. It's obviously very small, so I guess traveler. Um, people who usually shoot during the day, because at night, it's gonna suck. I mean, F5.6, it's not a very bright lens. Um, especially Leica cameras, they're not very good at low light either. The, the ISO goes like to 1300 and then it starts to break the image quality. Get very noisy. Um, it's really funny and cute. So, and obviously for people who normally shoot with Leica, this price is obviously very low. It's like, I think it's somewhere around $200. Um, for a Leica shooter, that is like next to nothing. All right, my little model have abandoned me. So yeah, if you're not a Leica shooter, um, like me, you want to adapt it into a camera, that makes absolutely no sense because it's, it's expensive for what it is. For $200, I can get a much better lens from the same company, from Seven Artisans, that mount directly with a R mount uh, lens, so you will mount directly on my R6. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about this lens. It's funny, it's cute, and it will make a great gift. So if you have a friend or a loved one that shoot with Leica, you could buy one of these and they will be, they're gonna be very happy, they will appreciate it. All right guys, that is it. And Gabby, you're watching Ray Studios. As usual, link in the description down below. Catch you on the next video.